Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to kind of gra uh, shade when you're dealing with inequality. So basically, when we're graphing uh, absolute value inequalities, we're graphing absolute value equations. That's the main important thing you want to know. It's just you're doing the same thing like equations. Um, however, once we get the graph, there could be a distant difference um, if it's solid or dash. Now, we could obviously use test points, but I think that's kind of a waste of the time. I get more in depth when how to determine that. I show why it works. But I think the easiest way to determine if it's solid is just look at the inequality symbol. If it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then it's solid. If it's greater than or less than, then it's going to be dashed. All right. But our main focus up for today's video is really dealing with the test point. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to choose a point at random. And I think the best test point to always choose at random is the point 0, 0. The reason why is because we're going to take that test point here. So here's 0, 0. We're going to take that test point, which has x and y coordinates, and plug it into our equation, substitute it in for the x and y values to determine if our equation is, is going to be true or not at that point. So I have my equation here. I'll actually write it out a little bit larger. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to plug in, let's use 0, 0 here with green. We like green. So let's do 0 is less than or equal to 3, absolute value of 0 minus 2, absolute value plus 1. Now what we're simply going to do is just evaluate um, or simplify this expression to see if it makes the inequality true or not. So in this case, I have 0 less than or equal to 0 minus 2 is 2. Absolute value, I'm sorry, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So 0 is less than or equal to 7. That is true. So since this point is true, that means every single point that is below my inequality symbol is also going to be true. Now, it would take me forever to plot these little points that would fill that up. So what we do to represent all those solutions is just draw some lines. And there we go. Now let's look at our next example. Now again, um, choosing the test points is very important. And you'd want to always use 0, 0 when it's available. But in this time, it's not available because 0, 0 is on my graph. And we already know that that's not true because this is a dashed line, where a dashed line means it does, it's not a part of the solution. So let's go and look at that and just make sure. Yeah, 0 is greater than 0. Well, that's false. 0 is never greater than 0. 0 is equal to 0. So we're going to have to choose a different test point. And again, we can choose a test point above or below. It doesn't really um, matter what we're going to be dealing with. So let's go ahead and choose a test point below. Let's choose a test point 0, comma, negative 1. So again, those are my x and my y coordinates. I'm just going to plug them into my equation for x and for y. So therefore, I have uh, da, 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 da. I have negative 1 is greater than negative absolute value of 0. All right. Well, absolute value of 0 is 0. Uh, negative 1 times 0 is just going to be 0. So then we have negative 1 is greater than 0, which that is false. So since that is false, and that means this point is false. And this point is, it is below my absolute value inequality. That means all the points above my inequality are now going to be true. So again, just like on this one, I am going to represent that, all those solutions, by shading above the line. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you shade an absolute value inequality. Thanks.